Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Keyzon McNeil Show. Today we are going to talk about my technical individuals out there. I'm talking about my Gen Suite engineers, my coders, my back-end developers, my front-end developers. We're talking to you now. So, you just uh, received information that you've been selected to interview for a company. Now, they're telling you you're gonna go through some type of coding challenge as part of the first step of the interview. A lot of you uh, technical individuals out there, you already know what I'm talking about, but we're gonna talk about preparation. As a senior sourcer and recruiting expert, you know, I hire these type of individuals uh, all the time, right? It never ceases to amaze me that when uh, we get to talking about the interview steps and things of that nature, when I start talking about the coding challenge, a lot of individuals, sometimes they get cold feet. They're like, oh, what does it consist of? You know, you know, there are different companies that do coding challenges. Uh, you have Hacker Rank, you have um, uh, CoSignal, you know, there are a few of them out here. Carrot's one of them. Um, and these are just companies that do the pretest. You know, they kind of just kind of see where you are. And uh, what's happening is a lot of companies are using these vendors to assess technical talent as a first step before you come in an interview. All right, so all my technical people know exactly what I'm talking about. So I just wanna give you some tips on how to prepare for that, right? First thing I want you to do is relax, relax. It's just the first step. It's the first step of, of probably two or three rounds of interviews, okay? I think it is. it can be advantageous to you to go through a coding challenge or some type of technical assessment. Um, just to kind of see where you are. You know, I understand why companies do it and it's, it's becoming the new normal now, especially with a lot of companies going to more of a remote environment. They just, they don't really have time to get in front of you personally and, and, and do all these different things. So they want to say, let's see where they are technically first. And then we can kind of work on their social skills and, and, and when we talk to them on our Zoom interview or Google Meet or whatever, Teams, whatever everyone uses. But when you get selected for that technical interview, what I want you to do, guys, is, again, relax. Number two is do your due diligence, all right? So let's take a company. Let's call it Company A, right? They want to interview you. You've talked to a recruiter at this point, and now they want to set you up for a coding challenge, you know, just a general assessment to see where you stand. So I want to recommend a site called, uh, I think it's called Hacker Rank. Yeah, Hacker Rank and another one called Leet, L-E-E-T code, Leet code. I want you to check out those sites where you can do practice tests to kind of help you calm your nerves, okay, and just prepare, you know. But I want you to do due diligence on the company you're going to be interviewing with. So again, talking to all my technical individuals here, I'll see what platforms they're working on right now. See how many different verticals they have within their company. Do some due diligence. It will help you when you go into your interview process with them. Now, again, with that first step, we're talking about that coding challenge. And again, it could be, there are various companies out here uh, that do these uh, coding assessments. So again, I gave you one, Hacker Rank, ProSignal uh, is another one, uh, Leaked Code is a good one as well. You can sign up yourself and do some practice tests. Just do some practice tests, go through it, you know, see how it looks, you know? Um, some of them even can offer you a live one-on-one -on -one interview just to kind of so you can see where you are, so you can see what you need to brush up on. Because what I'm finding is that many individuals who may have been in their career five, six years plus, they may not be just crushing it coding every day, back end coding or front end or doing full stack work every day. They do it, but they're more so doing what their company's doing. So they become a net to you know, uh, what that company is doing. They don't, they don't know what else is going on out here, right? You know, so now these assessments kind of break it down to like general terms, you know? So basing where you're coming in at, whether you're coming at an entry level, mid-level or senior level, that's gonna determine what level they test you at, right? Stay with me. So you just need to brush up on some things. Just do some practice, some practice tests. I mean, there are so many sites. Let your fingers do the walking on Google and just Google preparing for a technical assessment. So much information is gonna come up for you guys to go to and take a look at. I recommend that. Now, when you're setting up this interview for the assessment, um, obviously you're probably working a job right now or contract or whatever you're doing. If you are, you know, um, some of these companies will do them on the weekends, right? But what I want you to do is when you're scheduling this interview, allow yourself at least a week or two, right? Why do I want you to do this? So you can kind of play with it a little bit and, 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 and do some, um, some, some assessments and practice tests and things of that nature, all right? Don't just put it upon yourself to say, let me just practice some coding. No, go out there and go through a coding challenge, a practice test, 
so you can get your nerves right and get your confidence built up. And then most importantly, see what areas you may need to brush up on and, and some things you might need to work on. I promise you guys, if you do this, you're gonna find that you're gonna make it to that next round, right? And then obviously, you make it to the next round, now it becomes more of a conversation. It becomes more of theory, it becomes more maybe of how the process works, you know, uh, explaining to hiring managers and, and, and senior engineers how you how you code and how you do different things, right? Be it back in front and full stack, what have you. But you're gonna be more prepared because now that you've made it past that first step, what does that do? It builds your confidence. Now in that second area of the interviews, when you're probably meeting with the actual companies at this point, the hiring managers, I want you to, again, prepare. Talk to the recruiter that, that set the interview up for you for the second round. Ask them for interview prep, right? What type of questions are they gonna be asking me? You know, how should I prepare? You know, in most cases, most of these technical companies, they'll send you information telling you how to prepare and what to expect in the next round of interviews, okay? Maybe you still need to go back and do some more coding challenges or what have you, maybe. But they're gonna give you information so that you can prepare and be at your best and give your best level of effort, you know, when you come up on these tests. So for my gen sweeters out there, my all my back and front end developers, full stack guys and young ladies, please, if you do this, if you take the time to do your due diligence and brush up on some things, I know some of you may have 10 years experience and you feel like there's nothing someone can tell you, but you'll quickly find that, man, I forgot some of this stuff because you, you're not doing it daily like that, right? So brush up on it. I promise you it will lead to more offers, one, because we're in a great market right now. Everyone knows that. More offers, one, but it'll build that confidence up, right? But do your due diligence on the companies and prepare. And I promise you, you will see the results. Hope you guys got something out of this video. Please like the channel, please. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. I really appreciate it. And if you like what you saw today and saw some value in what I just mentioned, subscribe to the channel, turn those notifications on so you can be abreast to anything that I uh, push out that talks about career and life hacks, all right? Other than that, I'll see you guys on the next episode. And remember, always run your race.